What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock guys. Let's do the price action analysis. I'll also take you over the options data. Interesting things I'm seeing today. Some changes happening there as well in the sentiment of the traders. So we'll talk about all of that in this video. So let's jump right into it. Once I let you know, none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. I'm just sharing my opinion here, nothing more than that. All right. So we have a red candle today on Lucid. Okay. Now, are we bearish or are we still bullish? That's the question, right? Can we go up from here or are we going to slow down? And are we becoming bearish? So let's talk about, let's, you know, let's go through the details here with the data and the price structure. So, what are we seeing on the daily interval? We are above 20 and 50 days moving average. We are in the higher highs, higher lows. Where are our higher lows, the pivots, right? And where's the neckline? 889 or 887, almost this area, right? And price is what? 905 as the closing, right? In the post market, it's at 902. So what am I seeing? Nvidia is still in an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, and the closing price is still above 887, one of the pivots. That structure found a support today that I was talking about. So Nvidia is, guys, on daily interval is still bullish. All right, the price structure hasn't changed. So, but this is the price structure. Remember, things starts from intraday and they turn into swing, right? Uh, we have had these things intraday rebounding and then eventually started to turn swing long once we broke out of 824 as well, right? And we started to form these pivots. But anyways, structure is still bullish on NVIDIA. What things can happen on NVIDIA in the near term? So let's go to the hourly interval over here, right? And before that, guys, actually, let me show you something as well today for... Uh, my day trading bot as well. Again, if you need access to my tools, links in the description below. I have, uh, you know, uh, two trading bots, two indicators, and Wall Street alerts. So this is the day trading bot. Look at it today. Also, great performance, money making uh, positions. Awesome. All right, and swing bot is also in the profit. But I'm not gonna show here right now. It's again, if you have access, you can just you know. Anyways. Um, yeah, if you need access to my tools, links in the description below of this video. Okay, now let's go to the hourly interval back again. And what are we seeing? So guys, I talked to you guys that NVIDIA has a lot of room still on intraday as well right now being bullish, right? Um, even the level of 887, as long as we are holding that, we are still bullish. And look at it. NVIDIA came very close to that area, got bought back up. Now, the break of that's what I talked about in the morning as well, that this is potentially a short play intraday. If we break 906 going in today, that was the short play to 887. This is what I talked about in my yesterday video. Yes, we bounced back over there, but then we finally broke 906. And you can see then we started to find resistance over there for hours, right? That's why these levels are so important. Now, what am I seeing at the same time on the intraday? A lower high so in the near term there is a possibility tomorrow that we may go down so guys intraday it can still be traded short or long regardless of one swing what's the structure on swing let's wrap up swing first swing we are still bullish on the swing this will still be considered a pullback until this bottom trend line of the pivots right of the swing pivots and then also this 200 hours moving average until then this is this fall on the swing will consider just a pullback but yes can intraday short come now looks like that is a possibility why so because well we have a lower high on intraday and at the same time we have broken and are staying below the structure of 906 now what is what is the play intraday short right for what how so if we stay below 906 going in tomorrow, there's a possibility we can come lower again. And 887 is again you are watching. And if we lose that, then we have a possibility to come to 859 as well. All right. Then we will see if price structure holds again and it starts to go up. That's the, the swing level we need to see. But 
yes there's this chance as if we tomorrow break 50 hours moving average stays below 906 prepare some intraday short plays to come on this however if we stay above 50 hours moving average find support here just like you need to see how the price action is finding support there or rejecting right you have to see the candles on the lower time frame you have to see the wicks and all of that but if we break above 906 tomorrow again and stays above 50 hours moving average this thing can again run up to 922 and if then that breaks then it's again an upside then it's again the pullback is confirmed and we are up to the races again okay so that's with nvidia what is my opinion it's based off of as if these things break so if we we'll stay below 906 and 50 hours moving average breaks tomorrow intraday short if we go above 906 stays above it and 50 hours moving average it's a at least a long play to at least the next level and if that breaks then back to the upside again continuation right so that's that's how i'm looking at it L right now it's looking intraday weaker to me okay if you if you ask me um intraday where is the most bias as soon as again as soon as we lose 50 at this point staying below 906 guys the bias is to the downside intraday at least right so that's that cool so yeah the cool off may come seems like it may come that's how it looks like to me at least for a for a day or two uh, but again level by level is what the structure we are watching and but right now as you can see on the swing and on the daily interval the structure is still bullish as long as it maintains itself above 887 dollars range okay easy peasy well guys while i'm here we'll go to the options data let me just show you the swing bot as well because i did update my swing bot added new functionalities if you are a member you already have received those updates i did a video for you guys as well today check that out on my channel on my discord channel for this particular purpose but my swing bot now also gives some partial take profits positions look at the so s1 is the first partial profit position on the current buy position that was given at 859 and we almost are like what 60 70 dollars up from there and my bot gave it again it's not going to be perfectly at the top all the time but it tries its best to catch catch these type of tops and the moves so you can see the partial profit position came almost at the top right but anyways uh you know no guarantee these are just educational tools and i use them as a reference for my trading okay it's up to you how you use these tools i take no guarantee and i know i take no role and no part in your decision making process okay cool all right um oh, what else guys well that's pretty much it Let, we can take a look at five minutes interval as well i'm not seeing anything special um just what i talked about on the hourly interval is what pretty much is guys on the five minutes interval as well so yeah nothing special yeah you can see if you have my indicators and my bots uh, one of my indicators marks these day trading levels plus for you look at it how well these levels work they are even before the market opens so look at these double bottom formed at the levels and went all the way high up to our next day trading levels plus and you can see to a bit in the between the day trading levels plus this is where it found a pullback and a support and boom to the next level and then you can trade a short when you see the price action rejecting and came down where to our next level areas right so that's why these levels are very important to trade with okie dokie guys let me show you some options data and then we'll take a look at qq and spy as well real quick because i won't be doing a separate video today on qq and spy so uh, but let's go to the options data first on nvidia and it's a very interesting things i'm seeing today so what I'm seeing right off the gate, 950 calls increased from yesterday quite a lot today. Substantially price went the other direction. So did 920 calls increase today. Price went the other direction though. Thousand dollars calls are also increasing quite a lot. But at the same time, I'm seeing some put spiking at 870 and 850. Interesting, eh? So yeah, cool off as if it continues to come in. Price structure is looking like that cool off may come. Uh, intraday at least right that's what i talked about so interestingly puts are increasing on that direction as well again th this is just the trader sentiment and the market sentiment okay uh, that's the op on the option side i'm seeing all right um all right guys let's go to qqq and spy real quick and let's take a look at that okay so guys look qqq the structure is still bullish as long as qq is above 432 any sell off until there is just a pullback but yeah these intraday cool offs can be traded as intraday shorts 
but then it's uh, the structure is still bullish as long as it stays above 432 and 70 cents or so then we have spy similar thing um it's it cool off may come but it's just going to be a pullback to 510 if it comes it the structure will still remain bullish on this this is the neckline and the pivot spy is full on bullish but cool offs on intraday can come okay cool that's all for this video guys if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video and with that i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye